So yeah, I read some of your feedback. My last video from last Wednesday. Interesting. I ain't gonna give no detailed responses or rebuttals to individual comments, but I just found a lot of it interesting. I got a lot of, you know, had a lot of guys and women who agree with shit I said. Then of course I had a small percentage of guys who didn't care for the video. Such is life. Such is life. You know, they say, though, one mark of a genius is when you can take complicated concepts and simplify it so that most people in the general public can understand it. That's what I always seek to do. There's a lot of people on YouTube, though, that do just the opposite. They take simplistic shit and try to overcomplicate it in what they think is some kind of philosophically profound analysis but it's really just bullshit pontificating. It's just bullshit. I like to simplify shit. I like to simplify shit. There's an acronym related to that that I first learned from a college professor. K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. Figuring out all, all this shit works ain't, ain't overly complicated. Some people try to overcomplicate shit. It ain't overly complicated. You got some men out here, they want women to either be prudish or at least semi-prudish, strictly monogamy-oriented good girls, or they want them to be kinky, highly promiscuous sluts. If they feel like all women... Neatly fall into those two categories, they're good to go. Because they feel like I'll have casual sex with the kinky, promiscuous sluts, and I'll date and marry the prudish or semi-prudish, strictly monogamy-oriented good girls. But guess what? Life don't work that way. There's multiple shades of gray in between the middle of those two extremes, which I cover in my book, Who Said Again? There's shades of gray in the middle of that. And so the reality is, a lot of those women that you initially thought were the good girls, the proverbial good girls, guess what? They not. They like to fuck. A lot of them like to fuck thugs, bad boys, assholes, jerks, men with money. Women got a clitoris that has 7,500 to 8,000 nerves, in, nerve endings in it. You think they don't like to fuck? Please. Women love to fuck. Just because they don't want to fuck you don't mean they don't love to fuck. I'll fuck them. Like Alec Baldwin said to Ed Harris and Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, nice guy, good father, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. Go home and play with your kids. I've heard guys say, well, how come I can't pull women? I'm a nice guy. Who gives a shit? I'm good to people who gives a shit. I pay my taxes, who gives a shit? I treat people right, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? If you can't get a woman's pussy wet, all that other shit don't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. I don't care if you, you go to church every Sunday and treat people right. Can't get a woman's pussy wet, guess what? She either ain't gonna fuck you, or she's going to fuck you, but she's going to cheat on you with a motherfucker that really does it for her. I've had 35 to 40 women in my life that, that had me as their other man, their side dude, while they were cheating on their husbands, fiancés, long-term boyfriends. Why? Because I got their pussy wet. I knew how to bring out their inner slut side, their kinky slide. I knew how to give them permission to unleash that shit. 
Motherfucker say, Alan Roger Curry, why don't you have the same bitterness that we do towards a lot of these women, particularly these black women? Why? Because I fucked black women. I've had my way with black women. Black women have treated me like a king. As the young brother Edward Anderson said about me one time when he was attempting to criticize me, but he was actually telling, just telling the truth, he said, Alan Roger Curry is one of them select brothers who's benefited from the true sexual nature of women. You goddamn right I have. And I ain't apologizing for the shit. You goddamn right I have. Women have a, many women have an adulterous and unfaithful nature. Guess what? When I was between 17 and 37, I benefited from that shit. I fucked other dudes bitches. Period. If they wanted to give me some pussy, obviously the motherfucker they was in a marriage or relationship with wasn't doing it for him. He wasn't kinky enough. He wasn't confident enough. He wasn't dominant enough. Something was missing. Maybe he just was a lazy fuck. He'd rather watch ESPN than fuck. But he wasn't doing something right. Otherwise, she wouldn't be throwing the pussy at me. What about bros before hoes? Get real. Some of these women, man, they don't like me because I'm short. Well, what can you do? You can't have plastic surgery to become six foot five. I know that as a fact. So what you gonna do? You got some guys out here that are white knights and Captain Saber hoes. I don't care for them. Because they always give women the benefit of the doubt. They rarely, if ever, criticize women. They think women can do no wrong. But then on the opposite end, you got blatant misogynists and murderous incels. Mad at the world and mad at women. And mad at the men who those women are attracted to. The, the, the white people in the manosphere call that Chads and Stacys. Chads and Stacys. They mad that Stacy is fascinated with Chad. Because Chad won the genetic lottery. See, you want to criticize women, but I don't see no women picking up assault rifles and committing mass murders because they're romantically and sexually frustrated. But you men do that shit. And y'all wonder why I pick, seem like I pick on y'all more than I do women. Now, when it comes to whining and complaining, women whine and complain just like men do. But they ain't trying to murder motherfuckers like y'all are. Just because they can't get no dick. They ain't going up shooting up women and shit. Like you motherfuckers do. And going beyond the realm of dating and relationships. Some guys say, Alan, you sure do put a lot of stock in Wikipedia. I don't know why. Uh, Wikipedia is controlled by women. Prove that. Wikipedia is influenced by, by various factions of mainstream media which is all about left wing. Oh, really? So how do you explain the Fox network? Since I always tell y'all, wake up, y'all need to wake up to this fact. Y'all also want to always undermine the credibility of mainstream media and say mainstream media don't, don't mean shit. Mainstream media is a function of corporate America and corporate America runs this bitch. Believe that shit. I don't know how many times I got to tell you that. Corporate America runs this bitch. There would be no YouTube without corporate America. Fuck you talking about. 
Mainstream media don't mean shit. You don't mean shit. That's who really runs this country is corporate America. Are you serious? Some of mainstream media don't mean shit. No, in the big picture, you don't mean shit. You think you mean shit because you got 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 YouTube subscribers. Guess what? In the big picture, away from YouTube, that don't mean shit. That don't mean shit to me. I don't give a fuck if you got 75,000 YouTube subscribers. That don't mean shit. In the big picture, don't mean shit. Nothing. Other than to you and your followers, that don't mean shit. My name has been in major newspapers, has yours. If not, shut the fuck up. My name has been in major magazines, has yours. If not, shut the fuck up. I've been interviewed on national television, have you? If not, shut the fuck up. I've been interviewed on broadcast syndicated radio, have you? If not, shut the fuck up. Match your resume against mine and then talk, talk, try to talk shit to me. Oh, you motherfuckers talking about I put too much stock in mainstream media and mainstream media don't mean shit. You don't mean shit. I ain't thinking about you beyond YouTube and your cult followers on here with all your negativity. This dating and relationship shit ain't, ain't, ain't overcomplicated like motherfuckers try to make it seem. Women gonna fuck the motherfuckers who they really wanna fuck. That's number one. Is there anything complicated about that? Women are gonna fuck the guys who they really, really wanna fuck. They gonna find a way to fuck them. Even if they married, even if they're engaged to be married, even if they get a long-term boyfriend, if they run across a guy who they really want to fuck, they're going to fuck him. Unless their, their social programming is so heavy duty, which would include deep religious beliefs, is so heavy duty that it prevents them from acting on their lustful desires. That's the only thing that's going to stop them. You know, centuries ago, Man was doing things like having women wear chastity belts and uh, damaging and mutilating women's clitoris. What is that about? They all want to criticize women and say women are scum of the earth. But you got men for centuries been trying to suppress women's true sexual nature. I, I don't know about no women mutilating men's dicks to keep them from fucking. But you men want to own pussy. I want to have ownership over pussy. <laughs> Get a therapist. Women go fuck who they really want to fuck. That's reality. Step number one. Women go fuck who they really want to fuck. If they feel like fucking them. Whether they single, in a relationship, or married. Reality number two, at least two thirds, three fourths of those women who you think are prudish, semi prudish, strictly monogamy oriented good girls, they're not. They're not. They fuck too. Just like the sluts and whores, they fuck too. They might not fuck as indiscriminately as the, as the quote unquote sluts and whores, but they fucking too. Yes, they are. Wholesome pretenders. Erotic hypocrites. They fuck too. And I know how to fuck them. My verbal game is tight. Go listen to the erotic conversationalists.
Do you know I've had women regularly pay me money for hot, kinky phone sex? Pay me money for it. That's how much they want it. How bad they want it. How horny they want it. They pay me money. They send me PayPal just so I can phone fuck them. Make them come. Anybody want to doubt my verbal game? Oh. Oh. Say it again. Oh. I'm in love when I say oh. Oh. Say it again. Tell me how much you want to suck my dick. Oh. It's a bad boy you're listening to. And then you got women that don't want to fuck you, but in telling you, instead of telling you that straight up, guess what? They think you're flattering. They think you're entertaining. They think you're emotionally empathetic. They think you're financially generous. So they're going to spend a number of days, weeks, months, and possibly years pretending, giving you the misleading impression that your lucky day of pussy is coming, when in reality that day is never coming. And of course I call those women manipulative time wasters. None of that is rocket science, baby. There's women that will waste your motherfucking time and cause you to waste your motherfucking money by giving you the misleading impression that they want to give you some pussy when in actuality, you don't do shit for them. You don't even come close to getting their pussy wet because you're too flattering. You're too accommodating. You're too lenient. You're too emotionally empathetic. You ain't got no backbone. You're too enamored by women's beauty and sex appeal. You used to be a nurtured by your mother, so you want somebody to nurture you. You spoil women, let them get away with all kinds of spoiled and disrespectful behavior. And then later on, you become a misogynist and complain about them and bitch about them because you didn't have the backbone to have your way with them from the first place. You didn't have the backbone to say, bitch, I'm running shit. If you close the door of access to your sexual Companionship on me, I got two or three other women waiting to open up their doors. Options, baby, options. And finally, before I move on to my Patreon.com portion, somebody asked me, Alan, why, 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 why you got so, so much venom against these black pill guys? Why do you think? Should be obvious since a lot of y'all like to think y'all perceptive. Those motherfuckers are a threat to my business. Plain and simple. Black pill motherfuckers are a threat to my business. Any motherfucker that's on YouTube or on a popular blog or anywhere in discouraging men from socially interacting with women, discouraging men from pursuing women for romantic companionship, Discourage a man from even pursuing women for a short-term or long-term, strictly sexual companionship. Encouraging men to hate on women. That goes against all my business objectives. You try, I look at you as you're trying to take money out of my pocket. You're trying to take money out of my pocket, and I don't take too kindly to that. So you're an enemy of mine. You don't want to be an enemy of mine. 